Hey everybody, so today's video is, it's going to be really hard for me to tell you about, and it's going to be a very hard lesson. I'm going to give you a very, very, very big trigger warning. This involves a child, child abuse, rape, and there's a lot of upsetting details that I'm going to tell you. There is a photo of Janiyah in the hospital. There's not blood or anything like that, but she is in her hospital bed. I will briefly show that photo when the time comes. I am not going to keep it on the screen too long. But I thought it was important that you know what this baby looked like after what this monster did and what her mother allowed. And... I might have to stop multiple times, and I'm all, I'm all, I already feel like I need to. Um, I know you guys don't like it when I curse, but this is one of those cases where I think I think foul language just might be permitted. Um, I completely understand as if, if this is something you cannot listen to. It's horrific, and horrific is the nicest way I could use to describe this. And um, I'm just giving you a very very big trigger warning so uh yeah uh i also couldn't find a whole lot of information on this case and part of me is glad of it because i felt disgusted the entire time i was reading on this so i think it's a it's a good thing that we're not going to be in this one too long but um this child endured something that no child should have to endure and it's well you're you're gonna see. So um yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. So like I said, we're talking about Janiah Brooks. On the morning of May thirteenth, twenty nineteen, three year old Janiah Amarni Brooks's parents called the Albany Police Department and reported her as unresponsive. When police arrived at the home, 20-year-old Gregory Parker told police his stepdaughter was unconscious, but didn't provide any other details. She was rushed to an Atlanta area hospital while the Police Department Family Protection Unit and the Department of Family and Children's Services opened an investigation into her injuries. Janiyah remained... Um, she remained on a ventilator as police revealed that the three-year-old had been severely beaten and sexually assaulted. She had injuries to her vaginal area, her ribs, along with swollen hands and unknown trauma to her head. She also appeared to have old wounds as well. Four days after this, while she was still on the ventilator, Gregory Parker, the, uh, the stepdad, was arrested and charged with rape, aggravated child molestation, aggravated sodomy, aggravated battery, and first-degree child cruelty. The mom, 19-year-old Crystal Brooks, was questioned and it was determined she not only knew about the abuse, but watched while it happened. She was charged with aggravated battery, uh, regular battery, first-degree child cruelty, and giving a false statement initially. At 12.15 p.m. on May 18th, 2019, Janiyah would pass away because she finally would succumb to the injuries she obtained. In 2021, it was announced that the death penalty would be sought for Gregory, which, thank fucking God. Um, he was indicted by a Dotory County grand jury on May 5th, 2021, and Crystal was also indicted. He was indicted on felony murder, rape, aggravated sexual battery, aggravated child molestation, two counts of aggravated battery, regular battery, cruelty to children, making a false statement, and aggravating circumstances. The last charge, aggravated, aggravated circumstances, stems from Janiyah's skull, brain, and lungs, being rendered useless during a physical and sexual assault, according to the indictment. The indictment also said that he was 
outrageously and wantonly vile, horrible, and inhumane, and did physically abuse a three-year-old child. Crystal was indicted on cruelty to children, battery, aggravated battery, and a false statement. The indictment states that Janiya was severely beaten with different objects, and that several parts of her body, including her shoulders and hands, were disfigured. And I think, at least by now, I don't know, because obviously I'm still recording this, if I've already flashed the photo of her in the hospital, you can tell that she does not look like the child, the happy child in every other photo. And, um, and that little girl laying in the bed went through all of that. The fact that so many parts of her body were rendered useless and she was being physically and sexually assaulted by this monster while her mother watched is disgusting. And um, there have been uh, no trial updates yet. So I assume they haven't went to trial, honestly. I know that the justice system takes a really long time. But um, hopefully something happens this year and they get put away for a very long time. I can't think of a harsh and a harsh enough punishment for these two pieces of shit. I think they definitely deserve the death penalty. If anybody does, it's them. But at the same time, I want them locked up for the rest of their life so that they can suffer. But at the same time, I don't believe they're worth the money that's going to be spent on them, or they're just waste of air, honestly, in my opinion. Um, I, I, the only way I can describe this case is disgusting and foul, and nothing seems appropriate enough because this shouldn't have happened to a child at all. And this is probably one of the worst cases I have heard in a, ch- in a child crime. Like, disgusting doesn't seem harsh enough. Foul doesn't seem harsh enough. This was incredibly inhumane. This was, this was a lot of things. And I just hope that those two pieces of, pieces of fucking shit go to, they at least go to prison for the rest of their life. I, it's just, this rattled my soul that it hasn't been rattled in a really long time. And, um, that is the case of Janiya Brooks, and may that child rest in peace. Um, I will obviously update you guys when this goes to trial eventually, because it will have to eventually. And, um, that is the case of Janiya Brooks. Um, let me know your thoughts down below, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, guys.